standby for manual transmission in three, two, one. Is this going to be a stand-up fight or another bug hunt? All we know is that there's still no contact with the colony and that Dargoids may be involved. So, bug hunt then. Instructions. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. 07 Commanders, Manus Dextra here with greetings from the Witchhead Sector. As I'm recording this on October 17th, FDEV has continued on with its triumphant return of community goals. And I just want to say how happy I am to see them back, as they have always been one of my favorite parts of the game. The current CG, which runs until October 21st, tasks commanders with repelling a Thargoid incursion threatening new colonies in the region. Every commander finishing in the top 75% will receive a Guardian FSD booster for their efforts. This is actually a really nice prize considering what a pain in the ass it is to unlock Guardian technology. Which brings up our main topic, Thargoid hunting. For those who came in late, Thargoids are a hostile alien race that humans have been in conflict with for a long time. Currently, Thargoid ships come in two classes, Interceptors and Scouts. Thargoid Interceptors are very bad medicine. They're pretty much the toughest opponents in the game and totally impervious to normal human weapons. Commanders looking to fight interceptors will need to build highly specialized engineered ships armed with Guardian weapons. Trust me when I say building such a ship is worthwhile, but also very grindy and time consuming. But not to worry. If you don't have the time or the desire to go to all that trouble, you can still join the fight and defend humanity from the creepy crawlies from beyond witch space. That's because the second variety of Thargoid ship, the Scout, is plentiful and much easier to kill. Any decent combat ship with thick armor that can mount at least two large turreted AX multi-cannons will do the trick nicely. Check the description for Coriolis links to example builds, and while you're there, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Killing Scouts is really a lot of fun, and it's also one of the best ways to increase your combat rank since every Thargoid scout counts as an elite rank to kill. My personal favorite ship for scout hunting is the Crate Mark II. It can mount three large and one medium AX turreted multi-cannon and it chews through scouts pretty quickly. One word of caution here. In general, turrets suck and you never want them as your main weapons except in very specific situations, and this is one of those. Thargoid scouts are fast, agile, and very hard to hit with fixed weapons. Since AX weapons only come in two flavors, fixed and turreted, we'll have to settle for turrets. Trust me, unless you're some kind of magic ninja combat pilot, you'll score more kills with turrets here. So now that we got proper weapons, let's go find those critters and blow them back to witch space hell. When you enter a Thargoid occupied system, the first thing you want to do is target the local nav beacon, fly to it, and drop out of supercruise. Then you need to target the actual beacon and download all the current system nav data. I know this seems like a pain in the ass, and that's only because it is but it's also the quickest way to reveal every unidentified signal source in the star system. After you do this, you'll need to go back to Super Cruise and open your left panel. Now you should see a huge list of identified signal sources. The ones we're interested in are the non-human signal sources with a threat level of four or below. This is extremely important because these signals will always lead to scouts. Signals with threat levels of 5 or above are likely to contain interceptors and we cannot kill those with AX multis. 
Now that we know how to find the scouts, let's talk about fighting them. Thargoid scout weapons face through shields and do caustic damage. This is why you want to make sure your ship has lots of hull points, because your hull is sure to take damage even if your shields don't break. And caustic damage is the gift that keeps on giving. If it isn't removed, it will continue to damage your hull over time. Thankfully, there are two ways to get rid of it. The first way is by heating your ship up to 120% of its maximum heat load. You can do this easily by just going into silent running and boosting a few times. Don't worry about all the alarms and warnings. You'll be fine as long as you don't exceed 120% heat for too long. But don't forget, silence, silent running will take your shields down, so be careful where you use this method. So method number two involves decontamination limits. For this to work, you'll need the appropriate controller and a cargo rack stocked with limpets. Then all you need to do is launch the limpet and it will automatically seek out and remove the caustic residue from your hull. This is another reason why I like the crate so much. It has plenty of optional internals for hull reinforcement and still has room for a cargo rack and limpet controllers. I'd also recommend including a collector limpet controller to pick up materials left by destroyed scouts. Right now, these materials don't have a lot of uses, but I'm betting that will change eventually. Anyway, I guess the whole point of this video is that Thargoid scout hunting is fun, easy to get into, and probably the best way to advance your combat rank if that's important to you. And right now, during the current community goal, hunting scouts is definitely the most fun and easy way to get your mitts on a Guardian FSD booster, and those things don't suck. So, commanders, if you have time, I'd say strap up with some AX multi cannons and head for the Witchhead sector. Until next time, I'll be swatting bugs. Manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation.